Hey everybody, this is Ilad, and today we're taking a look at a game called Occupy White Walls. This is an MMO that is pretty different from any MMO, really even most games that I've ever played in my life. Um, at first I thought this was a little bit like a tycoon game, and I was curious to how that would play out as, a, as an MMO. As it turns out, I was completely wrong about that. Um, basic gameplay loop is actually pretty much nothing like a tycoon game. It's more like a, a clicker. Uh, which still lends itself to the question, how does one do an MMO clicker? Why would one do an MMO clicker? Uh, and I have to say I was not 100% thrilled with the answer to either one of those questions. Uh, but anyway, your your basic setup here is you're running an art gallery, and it drops you into this tutorial level that's essentially an example of the kind of gallery you could set up if you wanted. Uh, you have a tremendous amount of customization. Uh, here you see, as you look at a painting, you can interact with it by uh, looking at a lot of information over on the left side. You can zoom in, get a nice look at it. You can see comments that people have left, uh, which is pretty nice. Of course, it's always problematic in a massively online game. Uh, if you notice, though, I'm not really able to interact with anything except the 2D art, the paintings, the photos. Uh, we'll talk about that a little bit more in a second. You can see they have a pretty impressive array of, of painting genres, styles, schools, sizes. <laughs> uh, a lot of these, well all of these I suppose are real in some fashion or another. Um, there's a good many of them that are classics. I mean the Mona Lisa's in here for Pete's sake, right? Um, and I recognize a lot of them uh, from my own history in the arts. But right about here, it occurred to me, I don't think I can interact with any of the sculptures. And so I'm sitting here, I'm trying to get this sucker highlighted without much success. I'm like, oh look, there's a tooltip. Nope, it's the painting behind it. Hmm. And I try this a couple more times with uh, Duchamp's urinal over here. And whoever this naked fella is. <laughs> There was a content warning at the start of the game. <laughs> yeah, there's not a lot going on. Graphics are great, um, but the interactive side of things is pretty much limited to 2D compositions. And jukeboxes, because those are works of art too, of course. <laughs> Uh, yeah, uh, drop from the tutorial area down into a main lobby. Pop. Right on. With a lot of little mini galleries set up that you can wander into and see different styles of architecture. Things you can unlock later on in the game. There's another player running around with stripes on. <laughs> there is some character customization going on. Um, little Asian-esque coffee shop, okay. Nice array of Asian-inspired artwork on the walls. And then these riddles, and I don't, I don't get this at all. And I try to interact with them here. And it turns out that I'm actually accidentally interacting with a painting that has the riddle plaque and two walls between me and it. And I don't understand why that's doable. <laughs> uh, but it's it's actually kind of intensely frustrating for me. Uh, this is obviously a third person perspective game and in, in a third person game like this, there, there are two super common ways of interacting with the environment. One is 
pop a mouse cursor on the screen, I move the cursor around and I click on something I want to interact with. The other one is kind of what we're doing here, which is force the character that you're playing to look at the item until it highlights, which can be a little tricky looking over their shoulder and doing this, uh, and then press a button or click the mouse button and it'll interact with it then. I just want to say that sculpture on the on the left there is insanely cool, actually. Uh, this game uses the whole twist the person's head around until they're looking at it thing. Which I suppose is meant to be more immersive. But when I can click on something that's got literally two walls between me and it, it shatters that immersion all to pieces. And at that point, I'd really rather just have the convenience of having a mouse pointer. Like... Yeah. <laughs> the game's in early access, maybe they'll sort out the whole clicking through walls thing. They either need to sort that out, or just put the pointer on the screen. Right? One of the two. Uh, so anyway, it drops me after a short loading screen that I trimmed out of the video. drops me into my home space. You can see that there's borders around it. Um, uh, later on, I'll be able to expand those by spending game currency. Um, while I'm on the subject of loading screens, I gotta say, the initial loading screen to get into that lobby area was insane. I mean, that was two or three minutes of me staring at screenshots with a single hint or tip or whatever down at the bottom the whole time there was other than looking at the architecture there was there was absolutely nothing keeping my attention on the screen like it was it was bad uh hopefully they get that sorted out and then here as i enter into the art gallery looking for purchasable artwork you can see this is taking a while i'm guessing all this stuff has to be downloaded live from the internet on the fly and it could be that my internet connection was being a little unhelpful at the moment. But here again, like, it's a barrier, you know? It's a, it's a stumbling block. Anyway, so it starts me off with a pretty limited selection of artwork. There's a button down in the lower right to look at more if none of these appeal to me. Um, and then it's got Daisy, it's AI, which I think it's probably a lot more just like a Google ag algorithm or whatever. Um, that over time is supposed to learn the kind of art that I'm most interested in. And kind of feed me more similar to that. If I click on an image, I can then go to the artist gallery. See more artwork that that particular artist has up. Uh, we can see information on this guy. This guy died in 1872, obviously not contemporary. Or I can go to this guy, he's a lot more contemporary, and when I go into his gallery, I've got links to his Facebook, his Instagram, and his personal website. All right, so that's interesting. Yeah. This person has some really interesting stuff. Um, I really like this one. Like, this is actually the kind of thing I could see myself hanging on my wall in my real life house. All right, so I'll absolutely hang it on my virtual wall. I buy it. There's a little hiccup where it should either exit me out of this and then tell me to place it or it should wait until I've exited out before it tells me to place it but it, again the game's in early access anyway so finally I'm like okay guess I'll manually back out of that oh here we are I place it it is of course off center <laughs> Uh, feature this game needs alignment guides and I can't figure out how to move it at this point that comes in later as I um, progress through the tutorial next part of the tutorial is it's gonna tell me to open up my gallery to the general public okay seems a little premature <laughs> but 
right. So I come over to the reception desk. Open up the gallery. It'll be open for 30 minutes. And immediately an NPC pops in. I, I assume this is an NPC. Bob, if you're watching this <laughs> and you're a real person, I'm very sorry. <laughs> Comes in, stares at the painting. Mimics what a real person might do as far as coming in, find out about the art. Can't close the gallery. Once it's open, it's open. Then Bob comes over here, walks right through me. It's how rude. Twitches for a bit and drops some money on the reception desk. This is your gameplay loop. Place art. Open the gallery. NPCs come in. Stare at the art. Drop money. Leave. And you'll see Bob dissolve into some paint splatters here in just a second. Bye, Bob. Splat. Okay. Uh, immediately, Louise comes in. Presumably another NPC. She'll stare at the painting. She'll drop some money on the desk. She'll leave. As I level up, I can get more paintings. Which, by the way, is how you level up. Um, I can support more NPCs at a time. More than just one simultaneous. Um, I'll earn money faster. They'll probably, I guess, drop more money based on how long they spend here looking at the different artworks. Um, this is not a tycoon game. There are no maintenance expenses. There is no simulation. There's not really an economy. This is a clicker. It's like Plantera or something. Like, um, <laughs> You place more, you earn more. You earn more, you buy more, you place more, you earn more. I mean, that's the gameplay loop of, like, your classic cookie clicker kind of set up. And that's an MMO. Other players, other live humans can come in and see what I'm doing here, if they want to. Um... Why would they design this like a clicker? Then I realized they don't want a difficulty barrier. They don't want a challenge to the game. Because the purpose of the game is not overcoming challenge. The purpose of the game, I think, I don't have real solid information on this. I believe it's a storefront. I think this whole thing is a curated storefront where I see art, I like art, I show it, other players can come in, look at it, be like, oh, I gotta have that in my actual house, click through, buy a print, and I would imagine that some kickback, some percentage, finder's fee, whatever, goes back to the game studio. I think that's what the game is, is not any kind of challenge, competition, etc. It's just for fun. I can advertise artist work. If that's fun. <laughs> um, I don't have anything negative to say about that I like art I married an artist I'm glad that this game exists it's not for me right like for leisure time I don't particularly see the excitement in curating an art storefront It's nice that they have a ridiculous range of architectural styles. Um, they've got some character customization. You can customize the skybox in the background, which by the way, I particularly like this one, but they were all nice. Um, I like the, the breadth of their artistic library. 
Like this guy down in the lower left here, I'm, I'm going to end up placing several prints of his around my virtual space here. It's really cool, actually. Um, the soundtrack is amazing, and it's entirely possible that if they release the soundtrack for sale at some point, I might buy it. But that's pretty much going to be my only possible financial support for this game, which thankfully is free to play. Um, because I'd be shocked if I ever spent more than a few hours here total. This is just not my, my kind of game. It looks amazing. It sounds great. I might chill out here for a few minutes every now and then if I'm stressed and I don't have a whole lot of time to really get into something. But I really wish this were a tycoon game. I would so get more into it. <laughs> Anyway, what's here is fine. Like, the game's okay. Uh, here's another skybox that I especially like. I kind of hate that it's so dark, but it's also nice to have lighting options. And it's nice that you can attach props to literally anything. <laughs> In any orientation, whatever. Um, now these, these floor lamps that I'm actually using are... Well, maybe, maybe those are pendant lamps. I don't know what they're supposed to be. These are probably not the ideal lighting fixture to use, but look at this. I can attach it to paint buckets. Right? Like, that's pretty neat. I've got, like, two NPCs wandering around at level three, so that's pretty nice. Um, and I do love the freedom to just randomly attach stuff however I like to. Especially with lighting, there's a lot of potential there. Um, the physics model is is pretty decent, like you saw me step over the lamp there. Um, and then in just a second you're going to see... Yeah, it gets really picky about collisions with other, other objects. So that's nice that you can't um, force objects through each other the way that I've seen in some games. If this is more your kind of game than it is mine, uh, please go check it out. It is still in early access, um, but you know I'm following it. I'm, I'm going to follow its progress, see what uh, what new features get released. Uh, I'm going to keep an eye out for any soundtrack releases that might happen. Um, and I'm you know I appreciate the chance that I got to to try this out, but you probably won't see me online so <laughs> y'all y'all have fun with it uh, anyway thank you so much for watching <laughs> take care guys bye bye